In our epistle reading today, it's a powerful reading from Philippians 2 in which the Apostle Paul calls on the Philippians and us to imitate Jesus, to have in us the same mind that was in Christ Jesus, who, Paul says, though he was in the form of God, did not count equality with God a thing to be grasped, but made himself nothing, taking the form of a servant, being born in the likeness of men. And being found in human form, he humbled himself by becoming obedient to the point of death, even death on a cross. As I was reflecting on this passage this week, it occurred to me to to look up the the word obedient here in in Greek. Um, I don't know, how would you define obedient? Well, Listening, that's good. I'm, I'm glad you said that, right? Um, and we, we, we tell our kids, right, listen to what I'm saying, right? Or we tell them when they go to school, right, L- listen to your teachers, right? Yeah, I thought? Follow directions. And to follow directions, what do you have to do? You have to listen. It turns out that, that in, in Greek, this, this word obedient actually is related to listening. Uh, It means giving an ear uh, to someone. It actually comes from a a verb that means to listen intently. To listen intently. And I was reminded that that Jesus is one who, who listens intently to his Father. And this is a profound thing because, of course, Jesus himself is God. He is the Word of God. He is the Logos, the Word who was from the beginning through whom all things came into being. And even this Jesus, this Son of God, this Word of God, is one who listens intently to every word that his Father speaks. Which means that from before the beginning of time, he, he heard his father's plan to create a world and to save a world. And he heard from before the foundation of the world as his father chose each of you to belong to him. And then he came into this world, became a human being. Which means that, and I always find this the strangest thing, that he had, as a human being, he had to learn things, right? The scripture tells us that as Jesus grew up, he grew in, he grew in stature and in wisdom, right? He, he learned things. And he was obedient to his parents, which means, means that he listened to them. And it seems very strange that, that God the Son, who in his divinity knows all things, yet in his humanity had to learn. He had to, to listen. And he listened intently, I imagine, to his earthly parents as they taught him about God. And he listened intently to his rabbis as they taught him the word of God. And as he grew and was able to read that word himself, he listened intently to his father speaking to him in that word. And he listened as he grew in prayer. He listened to his father speak to him in ways that we probably can't imagine. And at his baptism, he listened intently as his father spoke from heaven and said, this is my beloved son, With him I am well pleased. And in all that intent listening, what did Jesus hear? In the secret counsels of God from before the beginning of the world, and in the words of Scripture, and in the voice of heaven, what message did Jesus hear? 
It's this, as he himself says, for God so loved the world that he gave his only son, that whoever should believe in him, whoever would, believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. And so listening intently to his father, listening intently to his father's love for you, he embraced that word, not as one who was forced to, not as one who was compelled to, but one who delights in that word, who makes that word his own, who conforms his life to that word, who wants to live out that word. And he went to the cross for you. And on the cross became God's message to you, became the sign of God for you, the word that says to you, you are forgiven. You belong to God. Everything that has or could separate you from your Father has been taken away. And now He lives. He lives as God's eternal Word to you. And the Father says to us, this is my beloved son. Listen to him. We are called as disciples of Jesus to listen to him. To listen intently as he says to you, your sins are forgiven. You belong to me. Nothing, nothing can separate you from the love of God. And he calls you to listen intently to him as he says to you, love one another as I have loved you. This is the calling of the Christian before and beyond all other things is to listen to Jesus. And it's my prayer that this Palm Sunday, this Passion Week, this Easter time, and every day that you would listen to Jesus, that you would spend time in his word, that you would hear him speak to you because he is the one who has listened intently to his Father, and he is the one who speaks his Father's good word to you this day and every day. In Jesus' name, amen.